What's up y'all, it's TJ with Fake It or Make It. Today's video is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be kind of a mix between a vlog and a review. Now, I like most other men in this country go to work every day and we don't work in an office. We don't work in an office cubicle. We don't work inside, we work outdoors every day of our lives, seven days a week, even when we're off work, we're still working outside in the elements. Now, over the years, I have tried so many different kinds of clothing. I've tried, you know, dry fit material. I've tried cotton. I've tried nylon. I've tried just about everything that you can imagine to try and stay cool. Because one thing that I can't stand, I cannot stand to be hot and sweaty. I, I've done it my whole life. And one thing that I just don't like about working outside is I do not like the heat. I prefer cold weather, and like right now, it's probably like 40 degrees outside, and I love it. This is my favorite time of year is during deep winter and early fall, whenever the, it, it starts cooling off and you don't have to just get soaking wet because I sweat like a, ugh, I can't even go into detail how bad I sweat because it's just disgusting. And it's, you know, after you've had a couple of mild or miniature heat strokes throughout your life, they only get easier you know, they only come easier, you know, like you, once you've been heat sick once or twice, it gets easier and easier, easier for you to get heat sick after those initial heat strokes. And so, you know, the older I get, the more I realize that I need to start slowing down, thinking about what I'm doing and the type of clothing that I've kind of shifted into has been this, this dry fit material. And the reason that I like the dry fit material is it dries quickly it's really light and you don't really have to worry about it it's inexpensive so in my day-to-day -day work i can tear them up i get them for like seven dollars off amazon they're long sleeve they're uv protectant and i don't have to worry about getting as much of my body riddled with skin cancer as you know as i would have if i would wear a short sleeve shirt so over the past years, that's something else that I did was is that I trained myself to wear long sleeve shirts outside because skin cancer is so prevalent in my family history. But when you work in the deep south, in southeast Texas, it is miserable during the summertime. And the only time I believe that there is an absolute crisis with global warming is in the middle of August when you're out there in Southeast Texas, just sweating your butt off and you're ready to die because the humidity is 150% and the heat index is 150. I mean, everything is in triple digits and you just want to die. So that all kind of leads up to what I want to talk about today, which is uh, your your summer or hot weather clothing. Like if you, if you live where I live or anywhere that it's just hot and miserable and humid, your clothing can either make you or break you during the hot weather seasons in that if you can't stand the clothing that you're wearing, if it's too heavy, if it's too thick, if you can't move in it, it doesn't breathe, you're gonna have a really bad time. You, that, I mean, that's all there is to it. You are going to have an awful time trying to be outdoors and active and perform your job or whatever task that it is you're trying to do. Even It could be hiking, biking, anything like that. Your clothing is going to dictate how far into the heat you can go before you fall out. So, like I said, I was wearing these $7 long sleeve, huge baggy uh, dry fit shirts from Amazon. They work great and they lasted for years. As long as you don't use a cutting torch with them and get them covered in buckshot, they'll last forever. One thing is that the shoulders started to sun bleach and so I just, at some point I looked at myself in the mirror and I've always been the kind of person that says, I'm going to work. I'm not trying to win any beauty pageants. I don't know what happened, but I guess I looked in the mirror the other day and I looked like I should be sleeping under an under, uh, an underpass. Like it, I just, or like I just got out of Sing Sing. It, it's, I was ashamed of myself because it, the way you dress and the way you present yourself is also reflective of who you are as a person. And I just look like an absolute slob and I was ashamed of myself. And 
you know, so what if I had to spend three times as much to get this nice work shirt? And yeah, it's probably going to get creosote on. It's probably going to get oil on. It's probably going to get grease on. It's going to get dirty. It's going to get burnt. It's going to, all these things are going to happen to it. But this shirt over the life, over its lifetime, I will have a lot better experience with this shirt and I will get a lot more value out of this more expensive shirt. And one added bonus is that I will look at least a little bit more professional. I, I'll, it, it's hard to explain that just because you work outside and you work with your hands and you get dirty for a living and you, you're, you look like something off of micros, dirty jobs, doesn't mean that you can't at least try to dress nice and not look like a complete jackass whenever you walk out the door. And I guess that's something that I'm starting to realize as I get older and it's it's kind of ridiculous that it's taken me almost to 40 years of age to figure this out. But what I want to talk to you about today is the Wrangler ATG button up cool fitting shirts. So let me go grab the other one and we'll talk about it and go over some of the cool features of it. Okay, so here we have the Wrangler ATG and ATG in this case stands for all terrain gear. This came from Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description of this exact model. I have two of the same color and one thing about me is I kind of take the uh, minimalist approach and I like to keep pretty much all my everyday clothes to look the same, almost like a uniform. Uh, so I kind of got away with that when I started buying the dry fit material because they would all have different patterns and I got distracted. So I'm going to go back to wearing the same model of clothing in the same color, just as an everyday uniform type deal, just to keep it simple. Cause I do like the idea that uh, some of the great minds of history in, in our history have, you know, used a minimalist uh, dress code where they would pretty much wear the same thing every day. You open their closet and everything would look the same uh, because there's a lot more important things to worry about than what you're going to wear. So I think that's kind of a cool mentality. Um, so if you open this tag here, a few, fe a few key features is, is it offers um, UV 30 protection uh, from the sun, wicks away moisture, and that is a huge, huge, huge deal for me is that it wicks the sweat away from my body and it dries quickly. That's that's huge because I don't want to be sitting in wet clothes all day. And typically during deep summer, I will wear uh, bring to work uh, multiple changes of clothes because I just can't stand to be sitting uh, in in wet clothes. Uh, and plus, if you get just soaking wet, you change your clothes, you dry off with a towel, you feel a lot better, and you can kind of invoke that second wind uh, and it has some cool knit panels um, like here is one of the areas and it's just a different material here and these panels allow you more freedom of movement uh, and like right here you have a little zip pocket which is cool you can't ever have too many pockets it just has regular button flap pockets nice little thin buttons nothing too crazy another cool feature that i like is sometimes i do roll my sleeves up and right here you have a button and you can roll these your sleeves up to this point and they you can button them down and they won't roll down or come unrolled down your arm and they'll stay put and it just looks nice and neat they have a whole handful of different colors. Uh, Amazon was pretty limited on the colors that they did have, but it just so happens I love the olive green color. I, I would like to have a little bit lighter color. They did have like a khaki cream color, and I feel like that would be, uh, that would reflect a little bit more of the sun's rays, but I'll just have to wait till they get back in stock and try them out. So if you flip it over, This is the back up here across the top, across the top of your shoulder blades is vented 
and it has this kind of mesh material. And so that allows air to get up into the shirt. And then here's another one of these knitted panels that will allow you a little more movement and flexibility. And I have pretty broad shoulders and I'm pretty broad across the back. So a lot of times shirts will be really constricting and I've always had a bad problem of splitting the shirt up the middle across my spine up through here or tearing them up underneath the armpits. This particular shirt, this particular shirt is a 2XLT, so it's a tall. And I'm glad I went with the tall. I'm not extremely tall, I'm 6'1", I have a longer torso. And I feel if I would have got the uh, regular 2X, it would have been too short. And that's the problem with guys that are bigger and I hate to say this, but a little more on the muscular, beefy side. Um, whenever you get shirts, they, that'll fit you. They may fit you. If they fit you in the chest, they'll be blown out and just like a dress in the torso area and like the chest and the shoulders and the biceps. If you can get a shirt to fit that way, it's usually going to be huge everywhere else. So it was really nice to know that I got a shirt that fits me. It doesn't look like a dress and I have plenty of mobility and I'm going to take you over and let you look at the shirt while I'm wearing it and uh, just kind of see how it fits. Okay, so here, here you can see how it fits. It fits nice and kind of close to the body without being overly snug. This sleeve I've rolled up. Now, my forearms are a little bit big for this. It only has one button at the point that you can open the sleeve up. So whenever I got to the widest part of my forearm, it was kind of tight, but I was still able to kind of finesse it up past the widest part of my forearm and loop the button, the button here, to keep it rolled up and it's nice and comfortable and I have plenty of mobility. This side of course is with the sleeve rolled down in its normal configuration. You can see the panels here. It hangs nicely on the body and the torso. I have plenty of room in the shoulders. I can reach overhead and my belly's not hanging out. There's plenty of room and no binding anywhere in this shirt. This is the back. It's just a really comfortable shirt. And I think it looks pretty nice as well to be considered outdoor wear and, and uh, to be used as a work shirt. Another cool feature that I forgot to mention was right here on the inside of the shirt right here, there is some microfiber material and it is meant to be able to clean your glasses. Dry your glasses off, clean the dust off of them. And that is just really really neat that was just that's a cool feature that to my knowledge on none of the none of the shirts that i've ever had had that that feature and that's something that just shows you that wrangler is some true work clothes even these pants that i'm wearing are wrangler and they're a kind of a stretchy material i call them yoga pants for guys um and they're kind of along the same lines as this shirt, but they're really light, really loose, and, and nice and stretchy, so you can have all the mobility your body can handle. I can't do the splits or anything like that, but looking nice and being able to move and function and do your job and whatever it is you're doing is really important, but the icing on the cake is that you look nice and you don't look like a ragamuffin or an escaped convict.
Very nice.